Today's video is brought to you by Vinyl Moon. Vinyl Moon is the all-in-one deluxe vinyl discovery. Every month they press awesome music on beautiful colored records and send them right to your door. Join today with discount code VINALIZE to get 10% off. All right, now I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Picture discs suck. And in this video, I'll explain why. Hey friends, welcome back to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and a lot of you guys recently have been asking me, Jarrett, you've been doing a lot of live streams lately, but when are you gonna get back to the normal videos? Well, I just wanna say not to worry because there's a lot more normal videos headed your way, so stay tuned for those. But today, I'm giving you guys my honest opinion about picture discs. But real quick before we dive into that, today's song of the day is We've Only Just Begun by The Carpenters. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day, post it in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Also, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn more about record players, music, and basically everything vinyl related, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you won't miss out on the new videos. All right, now why do picture discs suck? Well, to be fair, they don't completely suck. It's just that because of their unique design, the sound quality of a picture disc record is not gonna be nearly as good as a normal vinyl record. And that's because this unique design of theirs is kind of like a record sandwich. The first layer is a very thin piece of polyethylene plastic. The second layer is a paper picture. The third layer is a vinyl puck. The fourth layer is another picture. And then finally, the fifth layer is, yet again, another thin piece of plastic. So those thin plastic layers on the outside is where the music grooves are going to go. That's where the music information is pressed. And this is the main reason why they sound bad. Because as I mentioned in both the flexi disc and pocket disc videos, the thinner the plastic, the worse the sound quality. And that also applies here to picture discs. Now, you may be wondering, well, why don't they just make that top layer thicker? Well, I'm guessing that the main reason they don't do that is because it might obscure the picture underneath. And that's really the main selling point of a picture disc. I mean, it's in the name. And to be honest, some of those pictures on these discs do look really nice. Like the seven inch single of Toto's Africa or the Back to the Future disc, that one looks nice. We've got The Lion King too. We've got Thriller, the Old Brother Where Art Thou soundtrack, Prince, Pulp Fiction, Rob Zombie, this Bart Simpson record, the Jackson's Victory record, or my personal favorite, Tool's Lateralis featuring stunning artwork by Alex Gray. Isn't that beautiful? That is just so cool how they did that. So there's no denying that there are definitely a lot of nice looking picture discs on the market. But what I'm saying is that just because they look amazing doesn't mean they're gonna sound that way or they're gonna play that way. In fact, when you do play them, you're probably gonna notice a lot more clicks, pops, and scratches than you would on a normal record, especially at the very beginning, at the end, and in between the tracks. Also, on average, the more you play these, the worse they're gonna sound because as that thin layer of plastic on top gets worn down, the sound is gonna suffer. I'm already starting to notice that with my Lateralis record, which really sucks because I absolutely love this album. Now, some people only buy these things to hang on their wall as decoration, and if that's you, then by all means, go ahead and pick up a picture disc record, no problem. But if you're actually gonna play it on your turntable and you're expecting like absolutely perfect audiophile quality, you might just wanna stick with a normal record. Now, what do you guys think about these picture discs? Do you love them, do you hate them, or do you have any in your collection? Let us all know down in the comments below, and if you love record stuff, be sure to click this subscribe button over here so you won't miss any new videos. And most importantly, guys, have an awesome day, and keep spinning that vinyl.